Hey, it's Sean from P2R. Today I want to take you guys through a rundown of this J32 engine that we're just about wrapped up with here at P2R. So uh, this is a J32A engine. This is actually gonna be piloting an aircraft. If you guys didn't know, J-Series are used in aircraft as well too. For the most part, this is a all OEM bottom end. We're pretty much relying on a lot of Honda's reliability for the bottom end on this motor. The cylinder heads were completely done by us. We're running a Supertech spring package in this cylinder head. Combination of Ferrero, we got Ferrero seals, Ferrero um, Competition Plus valves. We wanted to run a valve that can handle a lot of temperature. These engines are actually not gonna be spinning a lot of RPM. They have a prop shaft and they don't wanna overspin it. In this case, we're we're only gonna be running about 3,500 RPMs. So our goal was to try to make a certain amount of horsepower at 3,500. This motor, we didn't really have major concerns with 7,000 RPMs or anything high up there. So we are gonna be using intake manifold spacer. We have a set of our CNC ported intake manifold runners on here. And also the upper manifold that we're using, we're gonna use a little bit extra runner length in there to help keep our power curve really low. This customer wanted um, Detroit diesel green valve covers. This is pretty much gonna be a turnkey ready to go engine. So we're supplying everything for this motor, complete ready to go wire harness, ECU, pretty much he can take it, start it right up. Since this thing is for the air, we wanna make sure that reliability and quality of everything is at it up most highest. So we're using pretty much what Honda uses on the coil packs. These are a brand new set of Hitachi coils. They're still made in Japan. It's a really high quality coil. So we went ahead and installed those. We're using a brand new set of injectors. We're using our P2R billet fuel rails. These are gonna allow him to connect up to his fuel system. We're gonna be using our see-through transparent timing covers. Weight is very important for these motors. We wanna keep it under 400 pounds. So we're using a lot of titanium hardware on here. So all these gold bolts, is, this is our titanium um, hardware that we sell for our timing covers. We're using a P2R manual timing belt tensioner. No chances of failure from like a hydraulic tensioner or anything like that. We do have the Gates uh, Racing Blue Belt in here. It's a harder belt than the original one and we've had a lot of good success with that. On here, we have a PJ Customs aircraft grade wire harness. This harness is very clean. It was specifically built for this. We got a couple of flying leads out to the side that we're gonna be um, just tapping in for fuel, ECU, ignition power, and that will start this engine right up. What I like about here is the customer kind of gave me a little bit of lead weight to choose the rest of the colors for the engine bay outside of the valve covers. He had the color he wanted for there, and he kind of left me free reign. I felt with this, color of green-ish. I felt golden black was the accents that I think would have looked really nice. So that's why we went with the gold, even on the valve covers. We got the gold titanium valve cover hardware as well. He's gonna be building his own exhaust manifold. What we're using is our P2R starter header kit. We have a V-band right here. This is a two and a half inch, and he's gonna be able to basically weld up any tubing from there to exit it however he needs to get it out from the plane. We have the EGR blocked off on this particular setup because it's not used there. We're running our billet uh, cam caps on this side. We went ahead and did the gold ones. Those look really nice. Internally, I mentioned it's pretty much OEM. We're running a camshaft that kind of keeps the power curve a little bit lower. Spring package just to help keep us from any valve float or anything like that. I know we're not spinning high RPM, but it's still an additional safety measure that comes into place and works really well. We did a competition three angle valve job to help improve the airflow there. This particular set's not fully CNC ported because we didn't wanna actually shift the power curve any higher up in the RPM band. Slight resurface didn't actually take too much off because we're not trying to bump the compression ratio too high. We're actually trying to keep cylinder temps down as much as possible too. So we're not really chasing too high of a compression ratio. Overall, I think the motor looks great. I can't wait to get this in the customer hands. I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown of this J32 engine that we just finished for the aircraft. We plan to get to see this motor in action in person in the aircraft. I'd love to get you guys some footage then. So please uh, subscribe, follow the channel, and uh, see you guys again soon with more footage.